What up YouTube, Soul Food SF here. Happy Friday finds to you all. Um, I hope you had a good week. I had a pretty good week. Um, the snaps were real bare. Um, the clothes weren't that great, but um, any week that you could actually find some things is a good week in my book. So um, shout outs, TVS, the whole crew doing their thing. All the other teams out there, uh, nothing but love for you guys. Uh, HP, the vintage villain, shouted me out. Shout out to you. Um, and Young Vandal, I think, shouted me out, but uh, it's good to see him, his latest pickup, he was pretty juiced on some half cents that he got. I like seeing that, I like seeing the kids get juiced as much as I do off of finding some good stuff. So um, shout out to all my subscribers, another week in the books, let's go through and find, or let's go through and I'll show you some of the things that I picked up. Uh, first we got this vintage Raiders play football logo athletic t-shirt it looks brand new it's got uh, the big logo athletic sign right there on the back we got a vintage um, 49ers locker room tee this is gold embroidery right here so that looks almost brand new uh, we got this vintage Boston Red Sox Ted Williams caricature by Salem I got a Johnny Bench one not too long ago a couple weeks ago so it's the Cooperstown it's from 1989 um, Salem size large a really nice shirt. Uh, we got this vintage Deadstock New York Yankees uh, t-shirt by Lee. It's from uh, 97. Uh, brand new with the tags. Really nice. Uh, we got a couple champion jerseys. Nothing too great. Uh, first of all, we got this Orlando Magic Tracy McGrady. Uh, size 44. You got McGrady on the back right there. Really nice. Now this jersey is just straight up dope. Um, Baby Jordan right here, vintage champion, Harold Miner jersey. Um, a little tiny fading on the numbers, nothing too crazy, but uh, the heat looks nice. There's no champion patch down there, but you got Harold Miner on the back. This is in pretty good condition. So, really sick jersey. I haven't found one of these ever, and I've been doing this for a long time. So, a um, really sick pickup. Uh, just this vintage Wilson Raiders kind of jersey. It's like an all-over print huge logo. Uh, this was a really good find. It's an authentic Nike Jerry Rice Raiders jersey, so everything's stitched on. You got the NFL logo there, uh, size 52. Nike on the sleeve, size 52 right there. Um, Rice on the back of the nameplate sewn on, so really good find. Um, let's see, this was probably my vintage find, my really, really vintage find of the week. It's a, a Los Angeles Lakers sand knit shooting shirt. So size 42, these are the old school ones. So um, Magic Johnson, Worthy, even like Kurt Rambis and stuff. This is the old school stuff right here. So that's a really, really nice find. Uh, vintage Duke Blue Devil shooting shirts from probably like 96. Um, right there, this is uh, patchwork Nike, um, size medium, pretty cool. All right, now here, is probably, I don't really get excited very much, or at least start shaking or super juiced off of fines, but this, I went to a new thrift that I'd never been to, it was like two hours away from my house, and I found this, and this, I went crazy when I found this, it was $3, it's a vintage 1988 Polo Cross Flags crew neck. So you see the price right there, size large, um, it, it's in pristine condition. I've never found something I was more excited about than this in the past probably year that I'm going to keep for myself. So this is going in the closet. I'm going to rock this all the time. It is crazy dope. So we got that. And then we also found this, which is also pretty high end. Um, vintage polo. It's a wool flag um, sweater. These are all embroidered on. The stars are embroidered on. So that was also three bucks. Um, I'll probably keep that too. Really, really sick. Uh, this is a nice sweatshirt. It's by Starter. It's a vintage LA Lakers. Um, you got the, the double strands right here with the beads. Uh, it's by Starter. Really nice, except it's double hooded, so it's purple and yellow. Problem is the yellow hood has some spots on it that I can't get out. So it's a size, it's a size large by Starter. 
Um, I'll let that go for cheap if somebody wants it. I just picked it up for the hell of it. Uh, vintage Starter Patriots, kind of half zip. Um, let's see, it's by Proline, size large. Big patch on the front right there. Starter on the sleeve, pretty nice. Uh, vintage Notre Dame, Fighting Irish, crew neck, simple. Um, this is pretty cool. Marvin the Martian 49ers crew neck. Um, it's a size, I don't even know what size it is. Size large. So, pretty cool. It's from 94. Uh, a couple jackets. You got this little tiny, it looks like an infant Oakland A's chalk line. So, really good condition. Chalk line in there. You got the block lettering on the back. That thing is tiny. Really, really small. So, pick that up. That's cool. Um, we got this vintage Raiders chalk line. It's also a kid's. It's like a kid's, I don't know. These are really small though. So these would probably be first or second grade max. Maybe even kindergarten sized. Raiders on the back. Really, really nice. Uh, we got this vintage Patriots track jacket. That's by Starter. Patriots there. Starter on the sleeve. Really lightweight. So this could actually be good for the summer. Uh, vintage Detroit Pistons starter. Starter on the sleeve. You got the mid 90s logo right there. Mid to late 90s. NBA on the sleeve. Pretty nice. Uh, vintage Golden State Warriors. Kind of pullover. The Warriors logo right there. NBA. It's by Reebok. Just basic. Uh, vintage New York um, Mets Swingster. It's a full zip. Um, Pretty lightweight too, so this would be nice uh, for the summer too. And this was probably the jacket find of the week. Uh, it's a vintage um, Anaheim Mighty Ducks chalk line. It's kind of a newer chalk line though. It's like a parka. Looks brand spanking new. Um, what size is this? I don't even know the size. It looks like a large or extra large though. On the back you got Mighty Ducks right there. So this is pretty sick. I mean, like the patch is pretty big, and uh, it's just a nice ass jacket. I might throw this away for the winter time because it fits me. All right, couple snaps, nothing great uh, except one hat. I'll turn that around in a sec. But we got a polo sports, uh, polo sportsman hat. Got the the buckle on the back. I'm um, just it's corduroy brim. It's nice. We got this. It's not. I don't know what this is, but. The 49ers script, but it's by AMCAP. So, red snap. It's just an all red hat. Got Team NFL right there. Um, it's kind of like the single line script, which is nice, but um, it's not sports specialties. Still a cool hat. Uh, we picked this up vintage Deadstock Utah Jazz. Um, tag right there. Green under, purple snap, purple air holes. A really nice hat. I'm still uh, really excited about this hat. It's an original Jordan hat by Nike. It's missing the button, so I gotta put a black button on the top. At the back, it's a Velcro back. It says, Be Legendary, which I thought is really, really cool. Um, we'll skip that hat. We'll come right back to it. Uh, vintage Deadstock, Washington State. Snapback, gray, gray under. Oh, I didn't even know. It's by Logo 7. I had no idea. Didn't even check that. Um, I don't know what this is. This may be a youth hat. It's a Charlotte Hornets hat. Um, kind of graffiti script all over. And the big graffiti script on the back. Uh, it doesn't fit me. So I'm assuming it's a youth hat. But still a pretty sick hat. Uh, we got a Kansas City Chiefs. Who's this by? By competitor. Again, missing the button. I got to get a red button for that. But you got the AFC on the side. Red snap. Green under. Pretty cool. Uh, this was actually my favorite hat of the week, besides that one. Um, it's a it's a denim 7-up shootout with a, a green suede brim. And it's a strap back, but it's got a, a patch right there from like 1992 in Arizona. I just really like this hat. I put it on and it fits perfect, so great hat. Um, we'll go with the find, hat find of the week. I'll give you a hint, it's a shark tooth. Logo Athletic. We'll spin this around right here. We got our Orlando Magic two tone uh, shark tooth. This is crazy. This is freaking crazy. So 
Lobo Athletic Green Under. Um, I'm not letting this go. This hat turns heads. I wore it once already and I got a ton of compliments on it. So that's a great find for me right there. Um, we got some really nice shoes. Uh, I cleaned all these up. First off, we'll start um, some Black Cats. We just got these for 20 bucks. They're from 2005, I believe. Yeah, 2005. They're size 8. So, really nice condition still. Paid 20 bucks for them. Soles are nice. Um, nothing really wrong with them at all. The insoles are still there. So there, the only thing I noticed on this shoe, you got paint flaking right there, which a lot of the fours flake from the 2005 era. But that's a really nice find there. Um, we got these today for 15 bucks, and a lot of you guys probably weren't alive when these came out, but these are original Air Max 95 neons from nine, like original 95, not retros. Look how big those bubbles are. So all you new retro sneaker heads, this is what you're missing with your little tiny air bubbles in the back. These things, OG's crazy air bubbles, crispy clean, um, again, no insoles, but you got the original tags right there, size 12, so that means I'm keeping them. The suede is still buttery. I got these for 15 bucks. The soles right there. Uh, great find for me. I've never found an OG pair of those. Uh, we got some True Blues for kids. These are not your uh, newer retros. These are from 2001. They're size 3Y. I'm going to clean these up. Really good condition. You can see the stars are pretty much all there. Um, insoles are worn though. But still just a really nice shoe. Um, I'll probably let these go. But that's a great shoe. Um, then we got these for 15 bucks also. These are retros. They're Freshwaters. Um, size 12, but I'm selling these. So these are from 2008. Uh, the wear is not that bad at all. So now I'll do a comparison real quick to the air bubble size. And that's crazy. Yep. So those and then we got these. Um, these are OGs also. So these are from 96. Penny twos. These are size 12. These are cleaned up. I already washed these and scrubbed them down, but really, really nice find. I got these from Goodwill for 10 bucks. So the air bubble is huge. Um, insole shows wear, but um, I'll definitely be rocking these. I'm a big OG head, so um, and I had these when I was sixth grade, I think. Yeah. So um, good finds. Nothing too epic, but we got some really nice shoes, uh, a really nice snap, um, some really quality snapbacks, and some really nice, uh, some really nice clothes. So shout out to you guys. Um, I might take next week off just because the thrifts have been really dry out here, which means they're getting dug before I get there and a lot of people are grabbing some stuff. So I'll take this week off maybe uh, and see what I can do in a two week period. But shout out to you guys. Thanks for watching. Have a good weekend. Um, happy hunting and keep digging up those gems. All right, Soul Food SF, I'm out.